Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Zoe and this is Lebza Walona. Okay, so welcome to Frank Conversations. Welcome, welcome. All right, so today we are going to talk about um, we are in the election season, so we, are, we have yeah. a couple of months, you know, time is ticking. So, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do today is we're going to give you some stats yeah about i'm super excited about these stats yeah. and um we're basically going to give you um our candidates basically not not just our candidates but like the candidates to look out for mm -hmm. um because people don't know who to vote for what's nice is um we have Five hundred thousand new voters registered for yeah, this uh, national we elections. Do, we so do. I'm excited about it, and I think that five hundred thousand is young people. Mm -hmm. So it yeah, I'm is. just gonna um, go and jump into the numbers. So out of them, the the forty seven, um, forty two million eligible voters, people of voting age, we have uh, twenty seven point four. Uh, people who are registered so it's it's a bit of a waste you know because we have all these people we are all struggling through the same struggles poverty unemployment crime rates yeah. and all that and we need all hands on board yeah it could and have been better but it could have been better but 500 i mean you know it's not a loss I mean right, so i'm gonna come in and tell you about where we at right now in terms of the provinces and where the big provinces are and as we all know, we saw where the manifestos were happening. Mm. With the highly contested province is KZN, yeah. coming in at five point five million registered, registered voters. voters. So you can see KZN is going to be a kingmaker, and that's why everybody's going there. Then we have Limpopo at two point seven million, and Pumalanga comes in at one point nine million. Northwest comes in at one point seven million. Northern Cape, sad story, but they come in at only 600,000 uh, registered voters. I think we can do better in the Northern Cape. But a uh, Western Cape coming in at 3.2 million. Free State, also I think Free State can do better. It, it's coming in at 1.4. Anyway, so, now that you know the stats, guys, um, it is unfortunate that like out of like over 60 million voters we can only get 27 but we're going to make do with what yeah. we have and um so the the ones that are here that we have that this um uh, 60 what is it 59.7 percent of these people that are going to vote we need to make the right decisions and zoe yeah um has got your most likely candidates that you're going to see or the ones that are going to go for the lion share. So right. So basically, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna, I'll, sh I'll, I'll tell you the political party and then who the leaders are and what they really, what they stand for. Basically, their ideology. Uh, and um, we'll see how that goes. Um, mm -hmm. So on top, we have the PAC. And I started with the PAC because really it's like the longest standing party, Aflapo. you know, well, after the ANC, but mm. we, we're not counting those ones. Mm. Um, so the leader of the political party is Nzwanele Nyonzo. Mm -hmm. And the ideology is Africanist, socialist, democratic or democracy, black identity. And their core is um, returning the land to Africans. You want to say something yeah like okay. this thing of returning the land seems to be a serious topic with our historic parties and to see parties like eff taking up that banton you know and saying we need to return the land to the people right it, i think it's a worthy cause and a lot of south africans need to take it seriously you know yeah i think also people don't know what the pac is mm. like the pac was it's a breakaway from the anc because mm. the anc at that time did not do what they were supposed to do which was return the land they're still not doing what they're, they're still supposed, not doing to do, what they're supposed to be doing yeah so the pac broke away because like uh we're not fighting for democracy we're fighting for the land and they mm. still are doing that so if mm. you are you know on the fence about the eff whatever this is a 
this is a candidate. They fought the original they struggle. They fought the original struggle for yeah. the land. So these yeah. are the original, like, you know, like yeah. Africanists. And we South need to, Africa. Zoe, shed some light on some of those people who are still, even till today, in incarceration under the new um, uh, yeah. political dispensation. These people were incarcerated during apartheid and then for political you know, reasons and 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 again the ENC, EFF has come to the forefront trying to fight for them to say hey this government needs to do right for the for the people who fought for our struggle for our rights today we are enjoying these freedoms and they're in jail and they're still in jail and they were fighting for us so That's i think true. we need to have a video on that yeah, and we'll and and show people about true. that so who's our next candidate babe? all right so our next candidate will have uh we have the eff mm. and the leader is julius malema by task ideology is south african marxist leninist and black nationalist mm-hmm. and the core is land without compensation Pan Africanism, one Africa, one military, and one currency. This is basically um, it's a it's a very long rhetoric, right? Yeah. Um, and a lot Muhammad of South Africans Gaddafi. are scared of this. It's you know, from Gaddafi. It's from it's like long. It's yeah. Been, it's been in conversation for a long time, mm. and you know, it's not it's not a new thing. And I think it's very beneficial, to be honest. If we but have it's also one, very achievable. It's very achievable. One mm. everything in Africa, it's very, it, it makes us stronger. It makes us like very competitive with other um, Western countries. Mm. So number three, we have the Democratic Alliance. The leader is John Stain Hazen. Bampoon as usual. Um, Stain Hazen, I don't know. Um, he appeals to the Caucasians, um, the majority. Mm-hmm. His ideology or the, the party's ideology is liberalism, liberal conservatism, federalism. The core is EFF is the number one enemy and ANC must be unseated. All right. And then we have the next one, which is Arise. Mm. It's a fairly new political party mm-hmm. and the leader is Mpo Dagada ideology unknown and he appeals to young people like youth between probably 18 to early 30s Mm -hmm. and the core is to eliminate poverty and to improve south africa by using tech advanced systems right Mm. and to retire old people i think but like wrapping up on um arise Mm. i i i I like them a lot because like i said they appeal to the younger generation and they do um the younger generation might not understand why uh the eff has to be so robust yeah you know and they are more technologically you know advanced so the next one will be mk mkonto with caesar let's go all right leadership to be announced Talking about ideology the... rebuilds the ANC. Ooh. Core rebuild the ANC. Appeal they appeal to the ANC, the fallen ANC. <laughs> <laughs> but they this... appeal to ANC members who just don't want Ramapos, but want to be part of ANC. So it's a catch twenty two with MK man. This is scary. It's a catch twenty two because this is a very scary. <sighs> It's a catch twenty two. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we have the IFP mm-hmm. in Gaza Freedom Party. We are still scared of them. Some mm. of us, <laughs> those people, t- they, those people traumatized us. Hey, you remember when it was that? Isn't it? Is 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 it? The, the the leader there is Vele, Vele Vele Kosin. Kosin. Yeah, that's Kadisa. a strong name, Baba. Yeah. The ideology is conservatism and anti-communism, constitutional monarchism, factions. Anti-communism. And multi-party governance, meaning when you vote for IFP, you're voting for DA. Period. Yeah. You need to understand those 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 dynamics. Those m- multi party yeah. Like your guy at what's his name? Black like me. What's his name? Mashaba. Yeah, Mashaba. 
you when you vote for Machaba, you vote for DA. You are, you need to understand those dynamics. Patricia are, Delil. Yeah, those those mm. dynamics. The multi-party governance is yeah. basically that. And I hope I hope Mabahambe doesn't go and and go into bed with the DA. Hey man, you Ma- can't Mabahambe. trust Mabahambe. 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 Let's go next time. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, we have also, uh, for the first time in the history of South African politics, we have independent candidates. And that's historic. That's so, monumental. So, um, people are fighting. People. Yeah. People are fighting hard. And, uh, and, and, like, unfortunately, people are seeing things they don't want. Some people are like, yo, if the EFF goes in, we will shut. Shit. Dude. Um, the might stand up as, a, as, as an independent. independent. There we it's go. It's gonna be crazy. See if Mukhoi Mukhoi goes in. Yo. I also don't know who I'm voting for. Now I'm on the fence. Okay. The last but not least, we have at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Your boys. ANC. Leadership. Konyana. Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa and his ideology. Bankrupt South Africa, a core bankrupt South Africa, and the keep them corruption. in the dark. The pala pala. That's his ideology. Ideology. Do 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 do. This ideology. So those are basically um, the 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 top political parties to look out for. Oh yeah. And not forgetting the independent. I think it would be your due diligence to do to yeah. go and research the independent the con- independent uh, candidates. candidates to mm. see okay do i like him do i don't do i like her you know is this my kind of person do i you know do they mm-hmm. talk to me and the things that i want and whatnot because that's what democracy is about it's yeah. about you and voting for who you want to vote for for exactly. the reasons that you want you know yeah. so We'll see what happens, guys. But yeah. we know for a fact that we are not what? Voting for the ANC. Oh, man. Did you see the Ipsos uh, says that they're losing, then they're going to be below 50% majority? Yes. Yeah. And do that. It doesn't take forever. It doesn't take like a lot. It just takes will and it takes the confidence and of the people in that country to say, you know what, we've had enough and we're going to do what we need to do to make sure that our country does not fall to the ground so we need to do what we need to do south africans let's go vote we don't vote for people we don't know i hey listen listen to (laughs) brains brains tell them (laughs) all right guys we spoke too long uh ring the bell uh subscribe and like us for more content we're going to be talking about the elections a lot yeah it's and election season it's election we can't season. help it we, can't it's help out there. It. And we are concerned we want we're to come very back concerned home. and yeah. we want you to be concerned too so we love you peace and go love and, and vote, go vote. Go and vote Baba. don't vote for the ANC <laughs>